job in the world, and it was only a couple of bags. A couple? Yeah. Archie's and um, Chantal Tanner's. I filled them, and Lauren wrote the labels. Lauren. Lauren Minster. Mr Hope? I know you're on holiday and everything, but can you give me a ring when you get this? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. OK. Thanks, Lauren. Bye. We've come up with something informative and, we hope, fun. It's just so hard. When I handed him to my sister, who was such a tiny baby, and now look at him. He even know who I am. Of course he will. Don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I can't win. I'm either too melodramatic or too closed off. Yeah, you're going to be OK, right? Thank you. Going well here. Good. Uh, sorry, Donna, your finger definitely touched your wrist then. You're not serious. I can't seem to find Sister William's name on the board. Judge's ruling is final, I'm afraid. This is impossible. This is a senior nurse. Well, Nurse Kendall and Nurse Van Bar seem to be managing pretty well. Yes, well, they're not suffering from whiplash, are they? Exactly. She should be leading by example. She needs to maintain the respect of the junior nurses. This is discrimination, yeah? I've got a disability, so. Oh! I spoke too soon. Nurse Van Bar's out of the game, too. So, congratulations. That puts Nurse Kendall in the lead with an impressive 25 points. Right, if you could just move your desk back. Nice one. Maybe your sister could uh, join in the role-play exercise. You'd totally let her win. I really do think it would help galvanise the others. Right, um... For the next section, um, why don't we have uh, Nurse Van Barr as the patient and uh, Sister Williams? Why don't you demonstrate what good practice is? I don't think that'll be necessary. Come on, Sister. Let's show these youngsters how it's really done. What do you think you're doing? Just scrubbing up. You're late. I know, I'm sorry. The operation hasn't started yet, has it? That's not the point. Sorry, I'm late. I got stuck with a private patient. Kept trying to show me pictures of his new boat like I give up. Mr Spence is a consultant. You're a nobody. OK, I'm sorry. I just had... I don't want to hear it. I gave you a chance. You blew it. Get out. It's a little harsh, don't you think? He has to learn. Okay. I'll cut the natural leaflet. Can you pass the homograph, please? Thank you. Scissors, please. Thank you. All right. Trimming the homograph. Listen, Tandy, if I gave you the impression earlier... I understand. Mr. Byrne is a friend of yours. It's fine. Can we have 330 proline standing by, please? I want to do this in two layers. Yes. What exactly is Mr. Byrne up to today? How do you mean? Well, I was in the car park earlier and I saw him having a little chin wag to what suspiciously looked like one of Holby's finest. I've no idea. No. I mentioned it to the CEO, but she couldn't work it out either. She's got a vaginal bleed. Bladder free. The uterus is fibrous and dense. These adhesions have really taken hold. Mm. All right, we have a bleed. It's coming from a uterine vessel. Suction. 
Okay, the diathome is not sealing off the blood flow. She's losing too much blood. We're gonna have to open her up. OK, thank you. Because of the delay, the obstetrician had to go back to the labour ward. Right, then get the on-call emergency gynaecologist. The bleeding is getting worse. We can't do anything until she's off bypass. Snare the purse strings. Can you check the ACT? Check the ACT. Andy, I need to make sure that the heparin's reversed. Trio Prolin, please. The baby's getting increasingly distressed. All right, well, I hate to be the prophet of doom, but there is no way Ghani can get her in time, so... We need to do an emergency caesarean. Iodine, please. This case is far too complex. I think the placenta is separating. There's too much blood. With her clotting levels, it's too great a risk. If we don't deliver, she will bleed to death and we will lose them both. I can do this. We need to wait. I did this in my training in Africa. With all due respect. I know what I'm doing. Mr. Hope. But I'm very happy to tell you, Mr. Van Bar, that your heartbeat is completely regular now. And just to clarify for us what you've done to minimise cross-infection. Well, of course, all the equipment we used is either brand new or fully sterilised. Thank you, Sister Williams. And thank you, Mr. Van Bar. So, do I get my 20 points now? <laughs> hand gel. She didn't use the hand gel. Well, I don't think that in this case... Well, surely it's standard practice. Is there something you've forgotten, Sister Williams? No, I don't think so. Hand gel. Well, of course, if this had been a real patient, I would have used hand gel. Yes, uh, I know you would. I think what the matron is concerned about is the infection on AAU today. I see. I think you'll agree we really can't be too careful. Right, well, you're going to have to excuse me because I've had enough of this. In fact, I think it's far more important to be with my real patients. Right. Um, well, I've got some prizes. Chocolates for the runners-up. Who, in reverse order, are... Suction. Oh, come on, I can't see a thing. Pax? Yeah, it might help me see what's going on here. No, I can't control it. She's bleeding everywhere I put a stitch. We're out of options here. No, wait. We can give her factor seven to slow the bleeding. Jack, we don't have time. Clamps. We're running out of time. Can't do this any faster. She's losing a lot of blood. We need to do this one at a time. Cut. Cut some swabs, please. OK, you can make your incision now. Scalpel, please. Can we have a suction ready as well? Scissors, please. Can you open the sheaf on your side, please? Yeah. The boy. There we go. Scalpel, please. Suction ready. Mind your shoe, Mr. Hope. Sorry. Suction, quickly. Okay, Mr. Hope, I'm just going to put my hand on the baby's head, right? If you can take out the boing. Okay. Apply some fondle pressure at the top, please. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay, clamps, please. Scissors. Thank you. Uh, 
Brilliant. Okay, one more time. Charge for 360. Clear. I'm going to call it. Time of death, 1448. Thank you, everyone. He's going to tell her. I will. This is Lockheed's results. It's a pre existing bladder infection. Nothing to do with contaminated catheters. Nothing to do with hygiene errors. I didn't think it would be. At least we know now. Yeah, well, I think we owe Sister Williams an apology. Well, if you say so. I must say, I thought you handled the situation brilliantly today. Situation? Well, just because some people's noses have been put out of joint because of your appointment here doesn't mean they have to take it out on you, does it? Well, I think, to be fair to Chrissy, that's not... We need to be careful. We don't allow ourselves to be taken advantage of. I don't understand what you mean. I think you have to ask yourself a very important question. What means more to you? Being liked? Being respected? Being a professional? I'm not so sure they're incompatible. We're not here to make friends, Judith. We're here to do our jobs. Excuse me. Judith Marchant? No, you can't talk to her, Mr. Bell. Because Nurse Minster is on holiday. Thank you. I think we need to talk, don't you? Oh, how did it go? Be up? I was late. Naila wouldn't let me in. Why were you late? We were talking. Oh, so it's all my fault then. No, I didn't say that. Well, I didn't ask you to. You were the one who forced me to tell you all about my personal situation. Oh, I apologise for trying to be sympathetic. I mean, next time I won't bother. You know, for the past couple of weeks, I was actually starting to think maybe I'd got you all wrong. Daisha. I, uh, I wanted to apologise. If we gave the impression earlier that you were at fault in any way... You made it pretty clear in front of half my junior nurses. Oh, that wasn't my intention. No? So what was your intention? Well, I suppose that by working together today, I was hoping that, um... I was hoping that we'd find some common ground. Working together? You tried to humiliate me in front of everyone. No, I didn't. I was put in an impossible situation. By who? Well, the CEO is understandably very upset about our patient report. So it was her fault. I'm just saying she was the one that insisted you participate in the course. I tried to explain to her, oh, but she... you know what? This is pathetic. If you want to go throwing your weight around, surely you should have the courage of your convictions. Whether you like it or not, Chrissy, I have been appointed a surgical matron of this hospital. What, and you think I'm jealous? Oh, do you know, sometimes your attitude is really unhelpful. Well, if you don't like my attitude, put me on your hit list, right next to my dad. Yeah, I have done everything I can to be friendly towards you, but it seems increasingly clear to me that we are never going to see eye to eye. That we can agree on. So perhaps it's better if we just um, stay out of each other's way as much as possible. Suits me down to the ground. All I wanted was five minutes of her time in light of the evidence which has emerged. If you read my new report, I think it'll Joseph, understand. I have every sympathy for you. But as I've explained before, as CEO, I simply cannot consider any evidence that has been obtained illegally. As the father of a child who died due to this hospital's negligence, I believe that my theory deserves a fair hearing. If you just read this, you'll see that my evidence is absolutely irrefutable. If you look at the timings, you'll find out... As hard as it may seem, I think we have to trust the coroner and the police just to get on with their jobs. 
I'm afraid I can't do that.